KMR 2020. Little off-season footage. Look at that beautiful green anodized titanium making those heat shields around those dump tubes on the hood. We've collected some off-season footage. I figured this would be a great time to show off some new stuff and talk about the car. We've upgraded our turbos, nitrous, wastegate, still rocking that HGT sequential gearbox. Although we did add some new electronics, working closely with Haltech and Nelson Savario, getting our tuning dialed in, more power and better data acquisition. That's what it's all about. Some of those beautiful green anodized components all came from Zerk Fabrication. Coming around to the interior, you can see those NRG buckets in that KMR Edition steering wheel. That was a custom design we did. Up here on the hood, we love to get that fresh air into the turbo so you can see how the turbo just kind of poking through. And then we've got those flame throwers from the wastegates coming out. We're still working on perfect fitment, but you can see where we're going with that. Beautiful little heat shields by Zerk Fabrication again. And coming back around, NRG seat belts. Like I was saying, those, those NRG buckets actually hold you in really well. I've been happy with them. Uh, I went back to a, a, a lay down e-brake, kind of reminiscent of more of a street car. It's kind of what I'm used to. And you can see that new Haltech dash going in. Can't wait to see that thing and what it's capable of. I've heard great reviews from a bunch of other racers. And uh, so far it's looking really good on our, on our end. Rap Legends did the wrap, and uh, we partnered with a new oil company. We've got Renewable Lubricants, which is an environmentally responsible lubrication company. Combining with American Ethanol and Thunderbolt means we are rocking ethanol, that's a biofuel, and a green oil company. That makes us a green machine. I just pointed out the fact that we got rid of our old nitrous system and have gone to a Nitrous Express Direct port with a two-stage setup, so we are planning on blowing a lot of good nitrous into this motor, just like a lot of other competitive drift teams are. Should get us over that 1,000 horsepower mark quite easily at this point. Bigger turbo, more nitrous. Yeah, we're getting serious. You see those wastegates. We've got a little bit of a custom setup going on. If anybody's curious about that, feel free to comment below. Maybe I'll let you know what we're actually doing. Custom. As I take that k and uh, filter off of there, you can see we have a brand new precision turbo setup. They have looked at the data we have collected for the past couple years, optimized it. So again, we should have more response and more horsepower. And I like to run one of those k and socks. That way you don't get tire debris and dirt and just bad things into the turbo. Turbo manufacturers don't like that even when you're a pro racer. On the cooling side, Mishimoto, we've been with them since 2009, and I've been very happy with their products, their company. We've actually helped them uh, develop components. We're running a twin oil cooler setup, twin fan setup up front, radiators in the back. I run a MR2 electric power steering pump, and I've heard mixed reviews, but it's worked great for me. I think part of the trick is a really short feed line from your reservoir tank. I like to have it all right above my rack so none of it has to travel far and that's actually a BMW rack which is part of the WiseFab kit. It's a great kit. Um, like all suspension components, you do need to spend your time on setup. That will optimize it. And the same would go for your shocks, brakes, everything. We're running a Megan Racing shock with custom dampening with Swift Springs and uh, I've actually been really happy with them as a manufacturer and as a group. They've given us great support and I think they've come a long ways over the past few years. In the back, right behind the passenger seat, we've got our dry sump oil tank. We run about two and a half gallons in this car to keep everything optimized and next to it is our fuel cell. So we put all of our liquid mass, liquid weight right over basically the rear end of the car. So it's helping push down on the rear axle, rear tires, and you can see there's our air inlet coming in through the roof and down into a massive Mishimoto radiator. Twin fans controlled by the computer and they're actually staged. So both are only on when we need maximum cooling. The computer, our Haltech ECU, does a great job staging fuel pumps, staging nitrous, staging fans. I highly recommend Haltech. 
In the back end, we're also optimizing weight, optimizing the car, whole new back end setup since I crashed into the wall in Georgia last year. I don't want to talk about that. But we've always had issues. When we're in the pits and the car's cooling, we're doing tu tuning, uh, we have a tendency to kill a battery. So with a twin battery setup and a multi-position switch, we can put one or the other battery on when we need it or a combined both batteries if we happen to get low amperage or voltage in one or the other. And you can also see we have the big battery on the right side, offsetting weight. Nice little oil catch can, coolant reservoir, a Zerg Fab set that up for us. And then we've got our quick change uh, catch there on the right. And it's not in yet, at least in this video, but our transmission catch can would be there on the left. In this video, we still are doing wiring and, and fab work, but you can see there are new crash bars. And they're nice and modular. They can be ran on either side and they're bolt on. So when I do rub a wall, we can put new ones in. Tail lights supported in a way that is easily flexible, bendable, and isolated from the fender or bumper. So basically all three components can move independently. Kind of a formula drift trick. Right there, zip ties, yep, they still are fashionable. Does a great job holding the back end on. And when you need, need to get in there quick, I mean, to be honest, I know it's not race car, but hey, it's, it's so easy to use zip ties. They work great, they hold it, and when you need to take them off, they're easy to get off. New bodywork, this is a combination of Mazda Tricks and Duraflex. In the back there, you can see as I open up that dry sump tank, it's easy to check oil level because you can just look in there and know you've got it. And that's that fantastic 2050 renewable lubricants. Also offsetting weight, adding power, that nitrous express bottle right behind the passenger seat. So hey, passenger sitting on a rocket ship. What you gonna do? Brand new ignition system, trying to get more spark and a little bit of a close up of that Bio Sin Extra. Be responsible. I wanna race. I wanna be able to race for a long time. So I'm rocking ethanol. I'm rocking a bio lubricant. I mean, this is a green machine. That's our goal this year. We want to be the most, most responsible, environmentally friendly race car we can be. I challenge anybody else in Formula Drift to be as green as us without being electric. In the back, a little close up of those Mishimoto fans. Um, you can see we've actually got some cutouts there, flappers, and that's actually allowing air to pass through the radiator while you're moving so you're not choking that radiator up. Um, make sure to follow KMR. This is just some old footage we collected through the off season while we built the car up. Wanted to get some updates out there. Everybody's been asking. Feel free to ask questions. Definitely gonna make some more videos and follow Kyle Mohan Racing.